be good it could do this arbitration you don't like that here's ad hoc here are the other options so with all of these options available for someone in a negotiated context mm -hmm. to say I want only this I, I always tell people I, you want to be a little bit uh, yeah. curious as you yes. said earlier yes. why, why are they insisting why they yeah, insist yeah. on that there, there should yeah. be something well that. here we've gotten beyond it let's go back to this one Tim and, 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 I, and I think that we're going to have ultimately a little bit of, of tension between you and the business here because we, we still have risk right that we've not yeah. Can we talk about risk? Because I, I just wondered what the um, what the financing arrangements were here. Whether yeah, you've got uh, guarantees, performance point. guarantees, yeah. letters of credit. What, 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 what's the structure? What, what's here? the type of in other words, what's the type of dispute? Yeah, the parties yeah. might yeah. face. Well, let's say in this one, for example, mm -hmm. the, the, if, again, if we can come to terms here, we'll get paid. It's going to be, uh, let's say, an equipment contract where we will ship the equipment under a letter of credit, and we will be paid as we ship. So, you know, no financial exposure once the equipment's in the country. Um, well, you may get claims coming back against you for... But we might get... I'm sure the equipment might have yeah. problems. There might be a performance bond or a warranty bond under, you know, a, a bank guarantee or letter of credit that remains open to satisfy our warranty mm -hmm. obligations, mm -hmm. let's say, under this contract. Mm -hmm. um, or they might not. Or, you know, but there's... There, there, we would be... It doesn't look like we would have large financial exposure... Um, that we would have to sue to collect payments on. We wouldn't have to rely on the collection process yeah. in country. Yeah. Yeah. Well, clearly, uh, getting a letter of credit um, in place probably in advance, as you suggest, takes out huge risk okay. in terms of payment for you. Um, and if they're looking for um, warranties, um, I guess it's for your business to decide whether or not they wish to um, provide such. If they want the contract badly right. enough, they may be prepared to do it. You look it. at the contract as a package, right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe even in, in return for getting the, the, the having disputes resolved there, you might get something else by way of a concession elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we get so great. So we, it looks like we've gone up, we've, we've taken this through a process now where we've really got we've mitigated a lot of the risk that we were looking yeah. at at the start. Mm -hmm. We got that arbitration. Looks like it will, it's going to have to be at this point arbitration in Russia. They didn't go. They liked your idea. That was very creative. They say, but not for this contract. Maybe for the next one. <laughs> uh, they want to see how this contract goes first. I think they want to know if they're going to have disputes. Um, uh, and they've they've agreed to mediation. They thought that the education that we got uh, was was brilliant. Uh, they said, oh, we like this. It sounds like a very good way to resolve disputes. So the the. Um, the, the scenario in which we would have a dispute is one here where, and we, we've also the payment terms, Tim, as you suggested, you, but they, they like, the business liked your recommendations, they thought letters of credit coverage was all fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and so we brought the risk down to, to really uh, disputes over the appointment of the arbitrators that may filter through the ICC or, or the, whatever institution is, is looking at this so and, and challenge to the award. Yeah, but we, we need to take local advice on that issue. And we need to take local advice. Yeah. And, 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 and we've also had the, old, the, the great mitigator here in that hopefully we will never have to be in arbitration or beyond arbitration in the courts because mediation will help us avoid that. I've, I've just got one last uh, proposal to make to reduce the risk on this. I think that the contract should provide for uh, institutional arbitration uh, and you should choose the institution that's going to be neutral, best suited to the parties, and you should provide that the institution will select the arbitrators. Um, you may, if you want to go for three arbitrators, have the institution um, uh, select the chairman, and then each of the parties can nominate their their own arbitrator. But that would be my strong recommendation because otherwise, you can run into a huge waste of time, cost, and expense. Just trying to work out who the arbitrator is going to be. And again, you can de-risk the, uh, the contract by getting that in there now. Great, great. So there, there is risk that remains, I mean, business yeah. risk and commercial risk yeah. that remains, but it sounds like if, I, if we can follow this process, we've reduced it to an area where it, it, at this point it becomes a business decision. And we can actually articulate to the business what the risks are. I mean, we've got a mitigation step in here with mediation, mm -hmm. and they can decide ultimately whether or not the, the contract at the end of the day is so attractive that they would want to accept it. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe, and maybe we, you and I might have a view if it was if we were in their shoes whether we would accept it. You know, gets got the point where even a lawyer might want to accept <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah, all right. Well, listen. Thank you very much. Thank Everybody. you. It thank was you. a very, very interesting. Nice. Thank very you, interesting. Uh, thank you and spasiba. Spasiba. Spasiba.
You've been listening to International Dispute Negotiation. This podcast is presented by the International Institute for Conflict Prevention and Resolution, CPR. CPR is a membership-based nonprofit organization that promotes excellence and innovation in public and private dispute resolution, providing an international resource for the avoidance, management, and resolution of business disputes. For further information about CPR or to download archived versions of this podcast, go to www.cpradr.org. Questions about this podcast or the issues discussed can be addressed to idn at cpradr.org. The music of Note Noir is used with permission.